do you supposed to continue on a friendship once you find out that, that person is jealous of you? Because once they start comparing themselves to you, like, are they gonna stop? When I'm throw up the sex in uh -huh. And I can fix you in. Hey, Tips, it's me, the Timbers. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> You see the title, you see the thumbnail, we back with another video. This video we're going to be talking about jealous friends. A story was sent to me and she want my advice. So y'all get ready to like, comment, and share this video. And subscribe if this is your first time here. But if this is not your first time here, I'll see you at the end of the video. Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Envy is where people really want to be in the same position as you. Like they're... Feeling some type of way about your accomplishments and everything. Jealousy is when they feel threatened by you. You know what I'm saying? Like you come around. Basically like when you're in a relationship and a bad bitch pull up. Mm. So yeah, that's the definition, y'all. But anyway, she said, I think my friend is jealous of me. Hey, Tim, I'm having a problem. A really close friend of mine has been acting weird lately towards me. We're both pursuing the same career and I had a really big career win which led to a couple of more great accomplishments. We run in the same social circle, so when people bring up my accomplishments, I feel bad, but it's also a great time for me. I should celebrate, right? She hasn't congratulated me or anything. When I'm being brought up in conversation, she gets really quiet or try to change the subject. I can understand how this is affecting her, but I feel she should still be happy for me. But instead, she's not answering the phone for me for real and back, um, <laughs> and barely has time to hang out anymore. She was even one of the first people I called and wanted to celebrate the good news with. What do you think? Am I wrong or should I just give her more time? First of all, like, look, first, look. <laughs> I'm the wrong person to ask anybody to give anybody time. Okay, I don't believe in giving time what need to be said need to be said right there in the door that's just me but let's you know face reality i'm gonna give y'all the um the advice y'all want to hear baby girl this ain't got nothing to do with you for real she's just in a situation where she compared herself to you and she thought she was gonna get this whatever y'all do for y'all career whatever she thought she was gonna get the promotion but let me tell you something i only want to talk to people that I care about. So if we have like a disagreement or I feel like somebody acting weird towards me. I only want to talk to people I care about y'all. But if a regular or somebody I don't know, a weird bitch, I don't I don't care about them acting weird towards me because bitch, I'm gonna talk to you anyway. Now this is your friend. I don't know how long y'all been friends, so I guess it's gonna really depend you know, on you how you want to handle this situation or whatever. But bitch, a, a bitch like me will send her a long message because I know you ain't got me blocked, bitch. I know you don't. And this is what I'm having an issue with right here. She got somebody within y'all friend group that she's talking to about you. This is not her first time comparing herself to you. It's like why she so mad. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, it probably just don't have nothing to do with you. She probably just disappointed that she did not get the position or whatever y'all do. If one of my friends, like, they get in a position or whatever, I'm going, I'm going to congratulate them no matter how I feel. Now, because I'm a content creator, I do like to think that people unfollow me just on the strength of, you know, I'm just probably not providing the content that they want to see or whatever. But some of this shit be really getting up under their skin. They don't want to see you happy. Now, I don't know who quote this is, but I know I've heard it several times throughout my life. Everyone wants to see you do good, but they don't want to see you doing better than them. And those are just facts. Okay. Um, A couple of years ago, I had a very, very, very close friend that I grew up with. Like, but this bitch was basically my sister. Like, we grew up together. Like, did everything together or whatever. Like, I consider her mama my mama. And she considered my mama her mama. Like, we was just that close. Living our best lives. Like, or whatever. But I had ended up coming out on an opportunity of ending up moving to Georgia. Now, I do recall us having a conversation where she said she wanted to move to Georgia too. My career was different from hers at the time. So, 
I was getting ready to quit my damn job and she had just got a promotion or whatever. So it wasn't a good time for her to get ready to move to Georgia, but I wasn't finna miss out on my opportunity because shoot, whatever. That was just a career decision that she had to make for herself or whatever, but she still ended up getting mad at me for moving to Georgia, y'all. Huh? Now, I didn't find out exactly why she was mad at me or whatever because she tried to be petty and say that I stole her clothes or some shit like that. <laughs> well, y'all, oh my God, y'all. People just say anything. Y'all, I'm not wearing nobody else shit out here. I did clothes of mine. But anyway, she tried to say I stole her clothes or some shit like that. But like I said, we ran in the same social circle. And you know me, I'm a... I'm going to run down on any fucking body that inside of our circle. Like, bitch, I know she talking to you about me. So, what did the bitch say? And then, if they acting like, oh, well, I don't want to be in the middle of it. Well, bitch, you must have something to say. Because why do they feel comfortable with coming to you? <laughs> right here is what I'm starting to understand. is like, when that person that don't want to be involved, when they got mad at you. Or when they had a disagreement or something with you. They end up calling that person. The girl. I'm just going to say this is my friend or whatever. When they got mad at me, I can already tell that they end up calling my friend or whatever. Because when she got mad at me, you know what she did? End up calling them back. What the middle person told me was like, oh, well, they said that you cussed them out or you was acting weird. Like, you know, you stole something from them. Come on, let's be 100. I'm only cussing y'all bitches out because you deserve it. That's just number one. Number two is, I'm not going to let nobody play in my face. Like, that's just... Number three is, ain't nobody finna pick and choose when you want to talk to me and when you don't want to talk to me. And then start back talking to me and thinking shit sweet. No. I don't play like that either. Especially if I didn't do anything to you. Now, it's one thing if we got into an argument or whatever. <laughs> Man. She didn't got serious, man. Because, first of all, let me tell you, I saw this post the other day, y'all, and it had said, people so quick to be in competition with your success, but they don't know your struggle. I literally had to take back from that friend because one thing about me, when somebody choose when they don't want to fucking talk to me, bitches like to block me or move weird because I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it up, especially if a bitch... If I was just talking to you the other day and then you don't want to talk to me tomorrow, when I see the day after that and you want to talk again, I'm finna be like, oh, you talking to me today? Because you weren't talking to me yesterday. I'm just going to say it. It is what it is. But sometime when I'm looking at, well, we're just going to talk about this friend. I have really compared myself to that person because I saw that they was comparing themselves to me. But I'm looking at you like, girl, you got this, you got this, you got that. Like, you still got your parents. Your parents are helping you out. Like... I don't have that. I really don't, y'all. Now, this this is not to under, underline or undermine or deny or whatever. This is not to... I don't even know the word, y'all. I'm a little lit. We're just going to say, like, y'all know Glenda is my godmama now or whatever. Y'all, when, when my mama passed, Glenda stepped up. She stepped up. I don't believe in... um appointing people as your godparents or like you know what i'm saying like are we best friends and this is and that so when i have a baby you're gonna be the godparents we don't even know what's gonna happen by the time i pass away you know what i'm saying so many people wanted to be my godparents and this is and that because they was so much they was best friends with my mama and this is and that but when shit really hit the fan when my mama actually passed away who stepped up glunder and she didn't ask no questions. Whatever I needed from her, she was there. I called Glenda right now. I need some advice or whatever. She's going to answer the phone. That's my mama, y'all. Can't nobody tell me different. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to cry because I'm thinking about it. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like, sometimes I look at other people because I still have that feeling like, I know who my biological parents are. And you still have yours. Okay, so it's this girl... That basically, I don't even know this girl. I really don't. Never had a conversation with her or whatever. But you can tell every time my name comes up in conversation or somebody say something about me and I'm around or like I pull up around them or whatever, her whole demeanor changed. You can tell like this bitch hate me. And I don't even know what the bitch problem is, y'all, because I can tell you right now, I don't have a problem with no one. I really don't. Like... If anybody got a problem with me, it really don't have nothing to it don't have nothing to do with me. It really don't. The girl don't like me, y'all. 
And I'm not even in a position to even want to try to compare myself to her because the bitch don't even get her hair done. Bitch, do it look like I can. No. She don't even get her hair done. She ain't never been nowhere. Never left outside of Georgia. <laughs> we we don't compare, honey. We really don't. And that's why I'm really getting mad at people. Like, y'all got to start trying to compete when you don't compare. Shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. I'm not even thinking about you. And you sitting up here worrying about what I got going on. Weird. Sometimes you can tell when people been lame all their life. Like you can literally tell when people been lame all their life. Because it's like. <laughs> it just take me back to why would you even think that we would relate. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> people just mad that I don't want to be their friend. Because I can just tell they lame. And then it's just giving like. You can tell when folks just get a little money and shit like that. And then they start buying people. They start buying them all type of stuff. They be trying to buy friends and stuff. <sighs> what that little post said. Once you lame to me. You are laminated. Look I know it's laminated. But you are laminated. Like lame as fuck. Like below the barrel like i don't even know how you can be unlame from that shit then you got people who be wanting to hang with other people who they don't even fucking like they just hanging with each other because they don't like you yeah so many people who i've seen click together just simply because they don't like me they don't even like each other y'all and low vibration you're gonna have people who are gonna come up to you and basically try to tell you everything that they have like, oh, well, I got my own house. I got my own money, my own car. I got a degree in this. I got a job in this. I make this, this, and that. And it's almost like, bitch, I ain't asked you none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you trying to compare yourself to me? But no, y'all. Let's talk about bitches who get mad at you over a nigga. Y'all, I don't know. I think I lost one of my good friends because I think she got mad at me because a nigga wanted me. A nigga that she wanted. A man, I'm going to stop saying nigga, but a man that she wanted, wanted me, basically. That's just the whole long story short, whatever. I don't like, like I said, I don't like people to try to go behind my back and go talk to our mutual friend about me and this is and that. Because I already know what happened. I already know what happened. And instead of coming to me about it, she tried to make up a lie and said that, you know... Oh, um, she said some to me out the way. She cussed me out. You know how Keisha get. And da, 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 da. and it's like, but I didn't even do anything to you. Bro, like I swear to God, I'm so motherfucking heated right now. I can't stand for somebody to talk shit and I can't get to them. Because, oh, you're not talking about Nate Daniels. You're not talking about Nate Daniels. <laughs> Do you continue on being... Look, I'm asking questions to y'all just like how y'all asking me. Do you supposed to continue on a friendship once you find out that that person is jealous of you? Because once they start comparing themselves to you, like, are they going to stop? <laughs> no, they're not. If I see people who are, like, not confident, like, you my friend and you just not that confident in yourself, I'm going to let you... I'm going to let you have it, like, not throw it in your face and be like you ugly and this is not I don't like to bring up people insecurities I mean unless you're trying to play your mind cause we can go toe for toe but no I'm really that friend like bitch you look cute I like what you got on and this is and that and if you ain't gotten that cute on be like no friend you gotta change that I really do think I'm a girl's girl like if you got some on your pants like you got a booger hanging your nose you got some of your teeth I feel like I should let you know your bro like stuff that people are ashamed or embarrassed to tell you I feel like I'm going to tell you, like, especially if I fuck with you like that. Now, if I don't fuck with you like that, then I'm just going to let you walk around with the shit in my mouth. But, I don't know. I feel like I try to be honest with people because I want the same thing in return. So, when it comes down to when you're doing something that's a little out of pocket or whatever, I feel like as your friend, I should be able to come to you and let you know, like, okay, friend, that was not okay what you was doing the other day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was kind of embarrassing yourself. Like, you was embarrassing me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But see, my thing is, I'm sitting up here talking about jealous friends, but nobody is going to admit that they are jealous of you, y'all. I'm, I'm really wasting my fucking breath because do you really supposed to get this person time because whenever the person's supposed to come back around even like my friend I told y'all from my childhood and stuff like that a part of me feel like she thinks she finna come back around and I'm supposed to forget that she blocked me on some fake shit and then my thing is like this is what I don't like when people be trying to like stop talking to me or they feel like they don't fuck with me no more bitch we need to get into a real argument <laughs> we need to get
get into a real argument because I probably got some shit that I really want to say to your ass. Because you ain't finna go talk about me behind my back to nobody else and then keep smiling my face. That's weird as fuck to me. Because once I find out what the fuck you said, bitch. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. But somebody that you keep around you, that you telling secrets to, and that you care about, and they supposed to care about you, it get weird to know that they don't fuck with you like how you fuck with them. So yeah. I say all that to say this y'all for real. A few weeks ago, I was just like really sad and thinking like, damn, what did I really do to her? Like what, what did I do to her? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always asking God, like, when people claim they don't like me or whatever. It's like, what did I do to you? Y'all, it was this weird girl or whatever. I asked her, I said, why you don't like me? It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. The same bitch I'm telling y'all that don't get her fucking hair done. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. It got to be. It got to be. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know you, bitch. Anyway, I was talking to God, just trying to figure out, like, God, why they don't like me? Why they don't like me? Why they don't like me? And God just, he didn't say it in these exact words, but it was clear as day. It's not you that they don't like. They don't like me. God said they don't like him. They say they love him, but they don't like him. They don't like the fact that God keeps showing up in my life. And so when anybody try to compare themselves to you, you got to know that it really don't have nothing to do with you. People do not like themselves. People don't like their own lives. And that's why they be acting like they want to walk in your shoes. But baby, you don't even know what I had to do to get here. You don't know and you don't want to know. It's really weird. I don't know. Just stop. Stop comparing yourself to people for real because your journey is your journey. This is a marathon. Like, for real, Nipsey Hustle. The marathon really do continues. Like, <laughs> yeah, a bitch might be running faster than you. But if y'all really did have the same goal in mind, you're going to get there one day. Get off my dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, your food sitting around here getting cold and somebody stealing off of your plate. Whatever was going on because you worried about what else, what's on my plate. Comparison is the thief of joy. You will never be happy if you keep comparing yourself to other people. Let's go! Drop it down, drop it down, drop it down, drop it down, drop it down.